It's exciting times here at Zoo Montana as they've recently received two grizzly cubs. They'll eventually end up here in the grizzly habitat, but for now they're in quarantine, which is standard. But the goal is they'll be available for the public to see in about a month. It hasn't been the easiest journey to Zoo Montana for these two grizzly cubs. Sadly, mom was euthanized because she was getting into people's cabins. Their mother was put down by FWP near Eureka, leaving the two behind as orphans. Unfortunately, getting animals in, in this way uh, that are either orphaned or maybe it's an animal somebody had illegally as a pet, it happens a lot. A sad story, but one Zoo Montana executive director Jeff Ewalt is used to. Believe me, I wish these bears could be out with mom still, but unfortunately, it's just not the way it is. Fortunately, they found a new home nearly 500 miles away. I mean, the bears are like one of the best parts of the zoo. To get two new cubs and get to watch them like grow up is really exciting for us. Visitors can't catch a glimpse of the pair just yet. The bears are currently quarantined. Standard procedure that helps prevent the spread of diseases or parasites to other animals. But families like the Sebihars can't wait. It's going to be great to have three of them in there. Three little bears. Yeah, well, one big one, actually. <laughs> And neither can the staff at Zoo Montana. When they called us and said, we've got a couple available, we said, yeah, we, we definitely want to bring them in. Timing was, was perfect. That phone call from FWP came on the heels of the death of beloved grizzly Bruno. But with Ozzy losing Bruno, that was a big deal to him because Bruno was, was almost like a mentor, a big brother to Ozzy. It's also great for our caregivers. You know, losing an animal like Bruno, that is a big void to fill. The bears are named George and Willie after famous country stars George Strait and Willie Nelson and you can bet they'll also be stars themselves here at the zoo. It's great for those kids because now, you know, the, the generation of younger kids that are coming into the zoo are going to be able to watch them grow along with them, which is going to be a lot of fun, and that's what excites us. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.